All right, let's get to some uh, dumb football questions here, mm -mm, gentlemen. We love going through the YouTube comment section where you can send us any question you want about football, and these guys will answer it. Alex Boone, Jeremiah Seals, a uh, decade and a half in the National Football League. Let's start with – so we touched on this briefly a couple weeks ago, but a bunch of people want a follow-up, and I'll just, I'll just ask the question this way. How and when – do the NBC Sunday night football player intros work and take place? Like, how are oh, they recorded? That's great. What's so, the process for NBC Sunday night football? Here's a guy. So at the end of camp, every year, they like the first week of the season, they do all of that. It's they picture call, day. Yeah. It's picture they, day. I mean, it's, it's like just day. like school, right? Dude, it's, it's picture day. Jay, were you here? You were here with me in the Vikings, remember? When we went out to picture day. And there was like 36 spots missing. And they were like constantly like, hey, you, you need to move over. We're going to put somebody in here. And we were like, what? They're like, and you, you need to move over. He's not here today either. There's big like, red X's on the field. Dude, it was like, what? Like half the half the people, half the administration wasn't there. A bunch of the players weren't there. It was like, what is going on right now? But what they do is after that, they call you in and they're like, all right, name, school, and get the hell out of here. And so you get up there and you're like, Alex Boone, when you're young, like Alex Boone, Ohio State. The and then when you're Ohio State, and so when you're older, you just start thinking of the dumbest shit you can say because you're like, oh man, this is gonna be great, and you just start firing stuff off, and they're like, no, that's not gonna, that, <laughs> that's not gonna work. I need you to do another one. Now, if you're smart, you just walk away. But if you're like scared, you're like, oh, I'm sorry, I was just kidding. I'll do another one. But it is. It's kind of funny, though, because you see guys trying to be serious and stuff, and you're like, oh, this is so weird, and we're saying our names on camera. And we're like, Alex Boone, the Ohio State. Break. Go home. <laughs> but then they do a couple more. Like, if you're a quarterback or a running back or a receiver, they're like, all right, now stand there. Just look at the camera. And that's when you see, like, the weird graphics where they, like, they put up the guy, and it's, like, all his stats next to him, and he's just, he's just like, blinking. Blinking. <laughs> That's creepy. Right? It's so weird. They're like, all right, now it hold is. the football out like now this. Now lick your lips a little bit. They're like, now hold yeah. the football out like this, right? Or like, do the touchdown, right? And so like, then they do all the like the gifts, right? Because all these players have like gifts now, right? The Josh Allen, like, touchdown. Like, so you're just watching these dudes just be idiots in front of the camera, and you're making fun of them mercilessly the whole time as you're oh, behind yes. them. But yeah, it's more just like, it's like an assembly line. Like, don't think of it as everyone's like, it's like, next. Jeremiah Searles, Nebraska, great. Get the hell out. Next, right? Like they just like they just roll you. And, and they there. do they oh, do every player just in case, yeah, just right? Yes. In case you're starting that way. Oh, we're third string left guard here yep. today. So 100%. everybody does it. Everybody oh, hey, does it's, it. Uh, it's Bob from. Yeah. Uh, everybody does it. Oh, yeah. Pennsylvania Tech. And if if like for Justin Pugh, right? Justin Pugh when he showed up to the Giants and they were like, shit, he's Sunday Night Football this week. They'll bring the crew in on Friday <laughs> afternoon and be like, Justin, you're starting this week. Get your ass get in, in here. here. Yeah. yeah. Like, just a puke straight off the couch. And they're like, yeah. all right, great. Get out of here. <laughs> get the hell like, out of here. <laughs> like, it's not like this cozy thing. It is very much what about, assembly. Do, line. Does the punter do it? Yes. Yeah. Everybody, Everybody does it. Does it. Every you never know when they're going to use it. You never know when they're going to use it. Right. <laughs> never know. I know. It's a lot. It's Adam a Terry. Yes. Just in case I have to play quarterback <laughs> tonight. <laughs> uh, let's see. Michael Pendergrass chimes in and says, how do agents get paid, especially when the player changes agents during a contract? Ooh. So, agent question. So as an agent, you can maximally charge 3%, right? So that's the max you can charge. That's collectively bargained through the collect CBA. Um, but that doesn't mean you have to charge 3%, right? So there's tiers to which you can charge 1%, 1.5%, 2.5%, and whatever. Like, and it's, it's tiered down. Um, based off every agency can be different on how much you charge guys. But you cannot bill your player until they have received their funds, right? So you can't say, hey, I charge 3%. Cool, you signed your deal and send them a bill, right? Like you can only bill them off money they've received, right? Which really threw a wrench into the whole thing when they went to this 836-week pay period, right? Because it used to be when Alex and I played, you finished the season, you got a bill from your agent, send them off, and now you go. But now, because players are only getting paid over 36 weeks instead of 18, you have to wait until mid-May to bill them for their entire contract, right? Or after they get a signing bonus or anything like that. But you, you just bill them through that. Now, it gets sticky now if a player switches agents in between contracts, right? But the general rule, and I won't get into the, too much into the weeds here, the general rule is whoever's name agent-wise is on the contract gets paid through the entirety of that contract. 
right? Just because you fire your agent in year two of a four year deal, it doesn't mean you just stop paying the agent that negotiated that contract, right? Like he worked, he worked for that. Like as an agent, that'd be your worst nightmare, right? You work your ass off, negotiate a hundred million dollar deal, and then a year later, he's like, "Eh, I'm going to Drew Rosenhaus." God damn it. Right, but so like that's just the rule of thumb that goes through it, and then once that agent, once that uh, termination happens of that contract, the very next contract the agent then goes on and gets paid through that. Okay, interesting. So is it? I mean, are you always like, is there is there like a paranoia as an agent? I mean, you're kind of new to the game, I guess, but and you guys are building something here, but is like, do you ever feel at peace as an agent? No. Does it just never stop? Never stop the scouting process. Yeah. Well, and also you just. You never know what other agents are playing dirty, yeah. right? Like there's a law. There's a law in the NFL PA agent regulations. If a client is under contract with another agent, you cannot go up to them and be like, "Hello, you should switch to me," right? Like it's illegal, completely illegal. Like lose your certification type illegal, but it's almost impossible to prove because if a player reaches out to you first. Right. If a player under contract with another agent reaches out to you first and is like, hey man, what's up? Doors open, no rules. Right. Mm. Zero rules. And so it's almost impossible to prove who started which communication first. Because all it has to be is, hey, I ran into him at a team event and he started talking to me. Hit me yeah, hit, oh, you should shoot me a text about that thing. Didn't even know he was an agent. Didn't even know he was an agent. Right. Yeah. And that's Had how that it happen. starts. And then it's and then it's game on. So you, you it's your job as an agent to kind of warn your clients about those things, right? And be like, hey, if, if you're not happy with something, like, come to me about it. Don't go looking for the other girl, like, behind the scenes, right? <laughs> like, you just have to be open and honest with them. I think that's the biggest thing. And agents are so terrified of being fired, like, all of them, that sometimes they get themselves in a terrible position of just being yes men, right? And if you just become a yes man, sometimes a player's like, dude, you, you're not helping me. You're just telling me what I want to hear. And then when things don't go well... It is your fault because you technically lied to them. But if you piss them off by but if you piss them, the them off by telling them the truth, them. maybe they're going to go look for someone else that is a yes man, right? It's yeah. a constant battle. Yeah, you basically live in a constant state of paranoia of like, who are you talking to? Who, who's who's in your ear? Right? Who's, who's in your DMs? Who's around? Who's in your DMs? <laughs> it's like a jealous girlfriend that you hate to be. Yeah, Dude, yeah, that's I saw, so. I saw you saw you looking at that other guy in the yeah. booth over there. Yeah. Why do you like him better? Than yeah. me? <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Let's go to Tony Owens six eight zero two on YouTube. It says, "What do offensive linemen do in their downtime for team building? You guys ever go, <sighs> what? go bowling together? What do you guys? We do everything together. The O line does everything together. There's go not to the Masters like, together. Dude, we we go. I don't know that we'd go to the Masters. That would be a no no. But like we go on O line trips every year. We go to dinner a lot together. We'll we'll do barbecues together. We go shooting together. We'll it's go usually together. involves some type of food." Yeah, like, like we're always together. We used to when we were here. We what was that place that we went to in uh, Victoria, Jay? Was it the Buffalo? It's uh, no uh, Maynard's. We used to go to Maynard's. Oh, yeah. Maynard's we go to Maynard's time. together. The People the be like, curds. "Holy shit!" Were you going to say the Buffalo big. Tap? Yeah, we went to the Buffalo Tap a few times. Did we out there in, in Chaska. Savage? Yeah, Chaska. Because it was. Remember, we went there and then we went go karting. I think I do. Yeah, we, 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 we used to do we, everything. And then we all went go-karting in the summer. Like that We were was, always together. Dude, imagine 15 giant humans <laughs> racing around the thing on the go-kart. Oh, my God. That was so much fun. We used to have a lot of fun. And we'd always, like, in Frisco, we'd go do stuff together. We'd go downtown. We went to the Sharks game together. We'd do O-line dinners. Like, we are yep. the group within the group. We are the unit that kind of runs it all. And when we get together, it is like no one's allowed to be here but O-linemen. And except for maybe quarterbacks. Quarterbacks. So quarterbacks always came to our barbecues. But it was like nobody else is allowed to the come. Occasional tight end, if we counted him. Right, if you yeah. counted him as like a blocking, true like guy that would do his job, otherwise it was like, no, get out. Yeah, but, no, you're yeah. not allowed to be here. Yeah, it was fun, dude. We have a lot of fun. Yeah, quarterbacks yeah. were always allowed. It was always like, no, of course you can come. Like, of yeah. course you, can. you're always welcome. That's to come. that's an open invite, silly. And then every now and then you hope they pick up the tap. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's why you invite them, right? <laughs> guys, that's why guys. You them. Thanks for letting me come. I got this one. You be like, <sighs> no, you don't have to do that. <laughs> talking about <laughs> block extra hard for Should've you, but I promise. T-bone. Yeah. By the way, I'm going through the comments from last week's episode here too, and there's not like one specific question, but a lot of people relating to Booney on the music headphones under yeah. the podcast headphones thing. 
Every time I have something to do, there's always some music in the ear. A little yeah. hum in the drum keeps me rolling, boys. Yeah, yeah. keeps me Fif- on track. That's what it does. Fifteen Iron Reaver says, "I so relate to Booney on the music thing. My mind is the same way. I will literally walk in circles, confused, unless I have some kind of stimulus." Yeah, it's true. And there's a lot of times where I think Jay and Phil. Sometimes I'll call you, and you'll be like, "Where's this conversation?" Oh, I, I think going? half the time he calls me while he's driving just to make sure he gets to where he's going. <laughs> like I think it's like because he'll be like, "Call me," we'll be chatting. He's like, "All right." I'm here. I'll call you later. <laughs> Bye, Alex. <laughs> hey, sorry if there's just... nine, nine kids yelling in the background here. We're going to Kowalski's. Got to get the groceries. Hey, hey. Pretty much. Tomorrow, Had here's an what idea. I want to break down in the yep. film. Let's do I this. Dude, it. I went to Kowalski's the other day without any kids. Let me tell you how amazing life can be when you don't have someone pulling on your leg. It. I, like, walked around for a while. I talked to people. I was like, this is great. Everyone was like, where are the kids? I was like, yeah, no, no screaming, right? You guys got some free samples? (laughs) No yelling. No kids taking food and eating it randomly. Like, this is great. It's finally a civilized store. Feral animals running around. Bear, literally, every time we go in there, grabs an apple, eats it. (laughs) At this point, I don't even apologize anymore. I I mean, I shop there every day. Do you pay and at for, the same time, do you pay for he, the apple? He takes no. the corn, puts it. He no. takes the corn, <laughs> puts it on the self checkout. No, I'm not paying for that apple. He eats it. We're, listen, the problem is I always get into a cost, conversation cost to with do the, a business, right? Booney's in there every day. I go talk to the meat guys, and I always turn around, and Bear's always gone. And it, at first, it made me nervous. And then I know where he goes right away. He walks right down the cereal aisle, and he picks out a different cereal every time. So it's like the T Rex Lucky Charms. He's like, Dad. I'm like, dude, mom said we can't get these anymore. She's like, dad. Hide them. I'm like, okay, listen, if mom asks, you put it in the cart and I didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> we do that. We do that game a lot. I'll come home. She'll be like, what did you get so much cereal for? Bear. Seriously, dude? <laughs> <laughs> I'm all about good times, guys. What can I say? Hey, and uh, shout out to Jeremiah Searles yesterday what? for pulling me into a good move. I was in a bad after place. that ball incident. <laughs> I was really in a dark place, man. I was get, I was like internally, I was nervous, right? And I was just not feeling myself. And I ended up talking to Jay for like an hour, <laughs> and I was back right away, man, right wow. away. Dude, well, he was like, dude, I'm worried. I'm like this. I'm like, dude, you're fine. Let's My just back. On. I was like, so let's bad. just jump on a recruiting call, talk some ball, like, and you'll be back. And then, like, after wait, was it? Were you nervous about like? Your no, dude. Like my kidneys in my life? back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my kidneys in my back. As soon as I got hit, like they felt like they got pushed back, and so they hurt. <laughs> and I was like, "Man, this my back is like feels like it's blown out again." And everyone's like, "Is it from the ball? Did you break your <laughs> pelvis?" And I was like, "Can you break a pelvis from a ball?" And they were like, "That's why I'm like, dude, I had to call Jay right away and be like, Jay, I gotta tell you, man, I'm I'm not in a good place right now. I I yelled at Johnny in the morning. I was like, I'm just I'm not myself <laughs> right you now. Do, I don't. What, did you do with the Xbox? I." I I was really bad. I asked someone to rake something, and he did it. And so I was like, what would you do? And he was like, I was on the Xbox. And I was like, oh, you were? Okay, cool. So I just walked right downstairs, unplugged it, walked right outside, and what? Poof, yoked it. Wait, what? Dude, the next time, you just tell you right the now, Xbox? when my grandfather told me to do something, it got done. I may have ADD to the max, but when that man said something, I was like, understood, sir. I get it. And so when I came home from my football meeting... Shout out Balls to everyone given black dude, and blue. <laughs> I went to the lead. I got to go to the Legion afterwards. I was like, guys, we need to go to the Legion. I got, I got to turn this night around. We ended up winning big. I was super excited, but we got home and it wasn't done. I was pissed. And I woke up in the morning and I worked out and I, and I got Johnny up and I was like, Hey, why is it not raked? And he was like, Oh, I forgot. I was like, I asked you to just rake the side of the house. That was it. He was like, I, I played an Xbox. Okay. <laughs> There's no more Xbox. I'd love to show you the blank. Wait, how, how did you destroy the Xbox? Just full through it. Hayuken, just like yeah. shot put Hayuken off the edge. It is what it is, man. Life comes at you fast. <laughs> I didn't even have an Xbox growing up, so I don't really care. I wish I, I could tell you. I wish I could tell you I've never done that. But in Listen, one, of, one of my not finer moments, the wife and I used to fight about the Xbox all the time, pre kids. Right? That was like the only oh, thing yeah. we ever fought about. And one night we were going at it, and so I was like, fine, screw it. Unplugged it, took it off the back deck, just threw it off the balcony. Boy, you guys both. Yeah, yeah. I've done this. I've 100% We're very done this. competitive, dude. And then I was like, fine, look, all our problems are gone. Everything's See? over. No issues anymore. And she's like, I can't believe you just did that. She like, goes down and picks it up. I was like, leave it. I don't care. Fine. It's whatever. Right? Yeah. Like, just total, total, full, full dude, off the It's edge. fun. You it's can fun. tell we're alignment because we're really cool, and then all of a sudden we just snap. Just and we're snaps. like pissed off mode, and... The problem is when an old lineman gets mad, we hold grudges for a very long time. We do. And we break and things. 
there are people that I have been mad at for years, and I see them, and I'm like, I'm still mad at you. I just, I can't. Like, there was an old saying in the NFL, and coaches used to say this, and it would, it to the point that I almost fought a few coaches. They'd be like, Booney, it's water under a bridge. And I'd be like, it's not, though, because he said it. And <laughs> I off fucking ass. heard it. And now I'm pissed. And they'd be like, let it go. Just let it go. I'm I think an old we need to change water under the bridge to Xbox over the railing. Uh, maybe. Oh, it's, it's, just, it's just Xbox over the railing. It's all good, buddy. Don't worry about it. You can buy another one. Mine's are you going to buy him mine another one? Mine still works, no. but it sounds horrible when you turn it on. I haven't turned it on in oh, a few years. Oh, the same one? The same yeah, one I haven't turned it on since I had my second kid. But like when I had my vasectomy, I was like, eh, maybe I'll play a little bit. And I went to turn it on. It was like... <laughs> I was like, oh, it explodes. Maybe the, fan, the fan's a little bent in there, I think. <laughs> That's all good. We still have it behind me here. Did you just ask me if I'm going to buy one of my kids another <laughs> Xbox? <laughs> Mackie. You got the old he, school. Oh, look at that. Oh, look, look at that, that thing. thing That's the that Nintendo. Thing, you that couldn't boy. break that. No. You couldn't. You couldn't throw the made out of steel. Oh, you got oh, a look game. What's in what do you here? got? What, do what you is got? it? What's in here? Tecmo Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You. QB got Eagles bo- versus QB Browns. If it doesn't oh, work, quicker. what do you do? <laughs> <laughs> Even though we all like, used to do it. I love how there's like distinct oh. things on there too. That's like, do not blow in the games. Like, how the hell else are you supposed to make it work? Right? It worked every, every single time. time. Every time. Every God. time. It was the best. Oh, yeah, Mackie. Yeah, listen, it. the rules of the house are this: Dad doesn't buy anything for the kiddos. That's not my job. Okay. That is not at all what I do. I make sure they go to school, and I make sure they're fed, and I make sure they have a roof over their head. That's my job. So they have to beg mom for a new Xbox. They don't even have to beg her, dude. They literally just go, mom, dad threw the Xbox out the window. And then she's like, wait till Christmas. Yeah. (laughs) We'll get you two more. She knows I have CTE. I hear her talking about me. (laughs) Probably the time. She's not even around. She's not even around, and I hear it. (laughs) Dude. It's true love, man. The voices in my head. She's my spirit animal. It's Alex's voices and ma- <laughs> Master's music. Like, oh, anyways, stuff. those are your dumb football questions here. Uh, if you haven't already, help us get to 20,000 oh, YouTube so close. subscribers. So close. We're trying to get there within the first year of launching this channel, this podcast. So click that like button, the subscribe button. And on the audio side, you can help us grow on Apple and Spotify by giving us a five-star rating and a positive review we also have a film breakdown. It's going to be Christmas. Speaking of Christmas, for Jeremiah, mm. it's a Blitz Pickup Masterclass film breakdown. Yeah, talk this dirty. week. Let's do it. Whole line committee.